light motor vehicle mechanic, hairdressing and beauty therapy, electrical wireman, plant up and pipe fitting, carpentry and joinery, ICT, and of course, welding and fabrication. Uh, in this welding and fabrication, which was started under the partnership of ILO Prospects, the first courts have successfully completed the course. They have done the examination, awaiting for graduation. There were 70 students actually in the first cohort. Among the 70 students, we had two female trainees. One of them being uh, uh, Zaytun. Where is Zaytun? Zaytun? Okay. This is actually one of the students who, who was in the, in the Department of Welding, sponsored by ILO. The same lady, Zaytun, attended national skills competition in Nairobi, and she was awarded that trophy you can see. So Zaytun is a, a trained welder. Na pia natafuta kibarua. Kwa hivyo, county government, tafalini, mukijenga nyumba. Ama ofisi. In the Department of Welding, tunayo msiana. Marika Gebuda, Marth, Shaka Lur Radio, and Internet Kerikertin. Thank you for that. Uh, this program has actually boosted also our, our enrollment. And therefore, we are requesting our good ILO partners. Tafalini, cohort, Yapili, Tungependa, Iwe Pale. So if you can um, give us a second cohort, we shall really appreciate. It has done a lot. You have done a lot for us. You have paid their, their fees, tuition fees. You have also given us um, equipment and uh, startup kits, I mean, sorry, and, and, and welding equipment that made us actually go through this program. So, tuna, 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 tuna ngojia mutsaidi hapo, tafadari insana. We also request you to, again, the first cohort of uh, site is through. If possible, as our TMS said, to get Penda Sana Kama Pia Mungeto sponsor, we are also telling water department that our staff is now fully and, and trained on these issues of water. In the event, maybe you want some refresher courses, courses for, your, for your water department, we are ready to train. This institution can now train such courses. Thank you for that. So we have got 15 teaching staffs and 79 teaching staff in this institution all paid by Garza County government. We thank for that. Overview of site courses or course. On 16th, November 2023, Garza Vocational entered partnership with site for the purpose of supporting site and ILO prospect program through training and equipping, equipping of 18 selected youth with practical skills in masonry plumping and operation and maintenance of diesel and powered generator so that they can be able uh, to support their communities. In selection of the 18 beneficiaries who, have been, who are done by water committees from water points. So the selection of these students who are with us were selected by the committees of various Water, water point. Uh, Madam CEC, allow me to also highlight because uh, we had an MOU between us and uh, and uh, site. Some of the activities that they have done as pertains to this um, course. Site facilitated payment of trainees fees accommodation and meals and reasonable logistics during practical lessons at selected water points. 
They also provided safety gears for both trainees and instructors, which is actually a very important component in such activity. They also provided tools, equipment, and learning materials for pr practical lessons, facilitated payment of tra tra trainers' stipend, facilitated payment of trainees' weekly stipend at a cost of 1,000 shillings per, per student every week. Work with ILO to explore the appropriate certification pathways with accredited institution. So those are some of the activities uh, um, a site has done, and we had an MOU with them. So our request again is please extend this course, probably for another two or three months, so that we shall be able to equip the necessary skills with these students. With those few remarks, may I call upon... Was a way to uh, this morning. Now, Salim Unyote. Uh, salam alaikum. Yangu ni machache sana kwa sababu. Allow me to speak in Kiswahili because for the benefit of our wazee wetu ambao tumeshirikiana na wao tangu tuanze tuanze kazi um, na kazi ile ambayo tunafanya sisi project hapa Garissa ni improving the camel milk value chain. And that's how water comes in. Water is very critical. Na katika mradi wa site wa Camel Milk, tunashirikiana sana na water committees, na communities. Na njio tulionelea, kuna a lot of problems, water losses, na kuna frequent breaking of equipment, Na ukiangalia mara nyingi zile ambazo tumeripea unapata ni shida ambayo if we equip the young people we not only provide jobs lakini pia we extend sustainability of these facilities na tuna reduce sana communities kukosa maji kwa muda mrefu ama maji kuharibika kwa sababu pipe imevunjika na ndio tulionelea tukaketi pamoja na community na tukasema Wao watupatie vijana, wale wanafikiria au vijana watafanya kazi. Wakikuwa trained, watarudi pale, mashinani, waweze kushirikiana na wafanya kazi. Na siku ya leo, mnaona kuwa tuko na vijana hapa, walikuwa wakui shireni wa kwanza, lakini kumi na nane ndi wali, waliweza kufanya kazi mpaka waka, wakafikia mwisho. Aa, na siku ya leo, mmeoni le kazi yenye wamefanya, Na yetu leo hilikuwa ni kuweza ku, ku onyesha wote ambao walio jumuika katika uh, this uh, program ya kutrain haba trainees kuona the integrated course, the kind of results zimetoka. Na nirudi kidogo nyuma, hii kazi ya tujafanya peke yetu. Tulianza mbali. Tumekuwa tukishirikiana na Ofisi ya Maji, uh, Vidaya Grawasko, Water Department, Director Ayuko hapa, hako in another event, but tumeshirikiana sana. Kwa sababu, iyo course haiku kuwa hapa kwa institution. Ni course ambayo tumeketi pamoja, tukatengeneza curriculum yake. Ili weze kunganisha those three things, masonry, plumping, na maneno ya water pumping and equipment. So to make it pamoja, uh, we had a series of of uh, of um, workshops where we sat together, came up with the, even the course outline. Engineer Kulmia alikuwa kwanza tulipoanza hiyo maneno, alafu tukaendelea, tukafanya, alafu tukachukua water technicians na engineer Hamed waka train the trainers here. Alafu sasa tuka equip pamoja na the, the tools and the equipment you now trainees wakaingia to kaweza ku deliver that course so i think that's a very important partnership ambayo kama county tunazidi tuna tuko na jukumu la kuiendeleza na wakati serikali inazingatia sana maneno ya short skills for rapid employment i think this is a very good um, uh, example 
ambayo tunaweza kujivunia with the youth polytechnic we are able to do na hiyo ya metal course na tuweze kuangalia kuna nyingi zambazo tungependa sana kuona pia the ladies being involved kwa sababu wao ndio wako na mahitaji ile kubwa sana ya maji na wanaathirika sana na ni vizuri sana kama tungeweza ku support tuweze kuweka wengine sana there were women who wanted to join lakini hapa tunajua kuwa kuna ile kushai from technical courses na haswa kama hii lakini kwa sababu hao sasa wamefuzu na wataenda pale wajionyeshe kuwa wanaweza kazi i'm sure the next cohort kama tutapata hiyo support tutapata ladies and that will be very important for us na kwa hayo machache wacha nikomee hapo tutazidi kuzungumza on one on one alafu tuweze ku kujumuika zaidi asante introduction yangu nafikiri imefanywa mimi ni technical service manager wa Gerawasco mnajua Gerawasco kwanza nafikiri mnaelewa Gerawasco ni Gariza Rural Water Services atuko na chairman hapa atapata fursa ya kusema mengi kuhusu Gerawasco yangu tu ni kusema training vile ilitendeka kusema kweli uh, site together with the, the donor uh, ILO and the entire team ya uh, VCT uh, instructors pamoja na water department i mean uh, Garawasco and facilitators tumefanya kazi mzuri na mnaiona kwa macho yenu vijana wame, wame sasa wamepata skills the, the main concept ni kupea vile sister uh, Lisa amesema ni ku protect the laws of water and uh, also uh, to enhance service delivery to the community sisi kama Gerawasco ama water department uh, or county government on behalf or i think the cc is here i can talk on behalf of county government lakini wacha niongee tu mambo ya Gerawasco sisi tuna furahi sana kwa sababu kwa ile juhudi imefanywa ya kuongeza manpower kwa sababu rapid response team yetu ambayo wanahusika na ku boholes ni wachache sana so aweze wakafikia kila pahali katika county na breakdowns vile msemekana ni frequent ile breakdown ambayo inakuanga zaidi ni mambo ya pipes pipes huwa inapasuka you can imagine you cannot hire a technician from gariza when facilitate just to go and repair a broken pipe you can facilitate a staff technician to go and uh, uh, lift pump and maybe uh, diagnose the problem there but simple uh, basic maintenances like uh, repairs of pipes uh, troubleshooting of the system vitu kidogo kama hizo inatakana wananchi wenyewe wale operators wajue and that is the meaning of an operator if an operator is operating a pumping system he has to know the basic concept of operation the troubleshooting and the basic maintenances yeah the, our team uh, our technical team is supposed to repair big issues like pump failure motor failure lifting of the of the of the pump uh, from the well and replacing of maybe draw pipes replacing of pumps those things and generators but these basic things like ma small maintenances that's why uh, the site have done a very good job together with ILO because they have taken a burden from us they have taken a burden from the community nikisema kwa Kiswahili wananchi wamefurahia vijana wao wamefunzwa sasa wanaweza kujua kwamba mambo ile ndogo ndogo wakati pipe inavunjika eh hawezi waka, waka, waka sumbua mimi na simu si ndio huwezi ukasema zina Ahmed tumia sisi technician hapana na pia ile kitu tumehakikisha ni kwamba how to service njia ku service generator eh njia ku service generator ku change oil changing oil filter fuel filter eh isije kwa sisi tunatuma technicians kutoka gariza kwenda ku change oil filter na fuel filter Todo siempre le da la quemada. 
Orto mesan mahlum mana mati dan mati belu. Hai le dalam ni rada ni. Ani kalau tu mahan jogi, mesin tu harus jogi. Wah mula insya Allah sesak yang jernih. Aku masukin hai. Wah badam bayi marta ini nak kapten. Megal de, simbri. Wah aku dah nak garis mesu uhar isu marta kasut dan. Lagi kasut belawa mesin nak belawa nasi iban hai. Mereka saya tu ansur cakap ini darah benua semai yang wabah benua kapten. Wan sila pergi sana wahana ni. Merle itu muka wahana kahal lah bo. Umat dona kerana garis. Dalam ni ramai nak kapten. Eh, dalam ni ramai hadi wahana lawab bo. Bahaya dia yer. Eh, anggam no wang kerap beh kerana hadi wahana lawab bo. Mahal ini. Wahwah. Merkus taba. Eh, bahaya ini am yer an mar tu usah saya no do kaum tu. An dah no. Bayar kira naga jawa ini. Kalau hendak lu harga jio, lagi ia wa tim kau harga jio ni ini yeri hin, atau mereka nak kumpa kau hin, ini aku suruh ni nak. On week, ayat kata tu, bed mesin ini mesin ada lagi, si lu harga jio ni kesin. Mereka, walau kesin ada marta, bahaya di ini, kalau ni ada kita mati mesin ini ni nanti sahijin, darah kau ini sen. Walau malin darah kau ada anak kau nol disen, garis balik kau ada kau nol disen. مرة نجا هلاه من سيد يا نجا بحسي وهو ها قرشكي ربيع لوس مينا درك أيه جه درك أيه جه ما أنت لأن يرد أنا جي بهديد اللعن بلوك ما أوصل كده ندم حسكارون أيه جه نص ميني مركا فوند أم أم بهني هدي ديزل وانتو نجا جو لقي يا بنتو أوبريتر أوسع له أوجي الدبل هم صور ديجان قرش Wah dapat kiri, wah syakir orang marti, enti lepas kerja, wah wah, lepas, wah ada marti, ini wah ada nasi lagi, ini sen sen lelai sen lelai lelai masih simpan hebat, malay tim kita tak kahat, simpan hebat sekolah mana, amalan, wah wah, wain itu sen, hab ke, ini sabar ten, simpan hebat, masih sen nukut sen, wain kan sorang ni, bila sorang ni, yang fili, mereka mahat uman elina. أنا وركي كده وسجاوني هاي مركا الحمد لله حنا اللوز دي دام لنا. Director of Karwasko representing the chairman who is not here with us today. Karwasko is Garissa Rural Water Services and the mandate is all the towns outside Garissa supposed to be handed over to Karwasko. Uh, and soon uh, we want to take over at least quite a number of bowls. Uh, as you know, Garissa has over 215 bowls, uh, which are scattered. We have pans and dams, and we have the river water. So this water, water, these bowls. Uh, mainly serves a lot of people and uh, we have a problem with with handling and the financial aspect so one of the big problems the balls have was the operators were not trained they were just picked by the water use associations and uh, they have just been shown how to start the engine and put off which was a really problem just as filter problem they have to rush to Gariza from Liboya to Gariza, which is around 200 kilometers. So we want to thank SITES and ILO for this extremely important, for this important training that they have offered to these communities. And uh, we want to advise these young men here that soon Garwasco will be visiting them in their balls and uh, will be in partnership with them so that uh, we take over the management. They, they will st still continue running the management, but they will report to Garwasco. The director is here with, the director of water is here. I will not talk much about water. Uh, mine is to thank the sponsors of this program, and we want to request them uh, seriously that we require more and more if two or three bunches to be trained, it will help us in taking over smoothly. Thank you very much. 
Madam CEC and the directors and chief officers present and all protocols observed. Good morning. Uh, my name is Lillian Dinda. I come from ILO, International Labor Organization. Lakini CCC or again Yapa Garisa Sasa, to Mekua Kama Wenyeji. Kwa hivyo tumefurai sana siku ya leo kurudi nyumbani na tukarudi nyumbani kukiwa na sherehe. Kwa hivyo wacha ni wapatie hongera, uh, director wa institution and the team for a job well done. Situ wapatie makofi moja. Thank you very much for the work you do. It's highly appreciated. Na unaiza kufikiria tu ni students munafunza. Lakini you are investing into the future of this country. You are part of, the, when history is written, like the president says, ah, to tengeneze kazi kwa vijana, hiyo story ya kutengeneza kazi kwa vijana ikitolewa, you are the center of it. Kwa sababu ni Tibet institutions zetu ndizo zina pair vijana skills waingie kwa kazi. And, and so this uh, morning we are grateful uh, and also another big congratulations to site team ya site tunawapongeza sana kwa ku it's bringing the pieces together kuleta watu tofauti tofauti pamoja ndio tukafika siku ya leo ambao tumeona vijana wamepata skills na skills zitarudi back to the community to serve and and this is the model that uh, the ILO promotes kuwa Vijana wanaenda kwa institution ama kwa mahali pa kazi, wanapata skills, na hizo skills zinarudi kutumika kwa community. Sio zinarudi wakatafute kazi, zinaenda kuingia practically to the community. And that's the model which we support. For us from the ILO, uh, we want to appreciate everyone who has been part of this uh, process, the water company, the county government, who are our long-term partners, uh, the community water management committees. Unajua unaweza kuenda mahali with a good idea, lakini kama community haina umoja, hawata ishika hiyo idea. But because the communities involved hapa, mumeshikana kwa hizo water management committees zenu, diyo hata mumechangia tukafika hapa. Kwa hivyo tunawapatia hongera pia, Na tunatarajia kuwa other water management committees wataiga mfano wenu na tuone hii model ikiendelea kwa different places uh, in the county. The genesis was one time site came to us and uh, they were doing rehabilitation of boreholes uko mashinani. In the rehabilitation of boreholes they found out that there's a gap here where we could not access anyone who has the skills and is local. Then we said, we had a discussion with them about how can we go about this thing. Then we said, uh, they asked, do you have people who can train these people? We said, yes. Okay. Do we have uh, a local institution that maybe uh, they can get the, 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 the raw materials, especially uh, the machineries? Yes, we have a local institution. Then why don't we uh, go and train our youths at the, uh, the sub-county, ward, and village level so that uh, you increase your chances of you know, uh, of uh, skills, skilled personnel. Then we said, that's fine. Then they said, we are going to fund you on that. That is, uh, I think one time we had a meeting with that, with you at, uh, uh, La was it Lantern? Yes, Lantern, where we conceptualized and said, oh, okay, this is the way to go. Uh, we do not want uh, uh, an entity coming, training people, and then going. Then when Guinea Wanakuja, they come and try their own thing with us, then they go. Others come, they try their own thing, they go. So what we said, number one, let's f recognize our local institution, the TVET, with us here. Uh, number two, 
uh, we said let's recognize our local institution. Number two, let's develop a curriculum. Something, you know, uh, at least that when any other entity wants to come in, at least there is, there is continuity of how to conduct or how to capacity build uh, our community. I am very happy to see Garwasco here, represented by the directors. This is, their, this is going to be their core mandate, and it is also already their core mandate to train the operators. Uh, I also want to tell you that uh, these are the 18 uh, first batch of uh, students that have been trained on on uh, several skills. It's called building skills in masonry, plumbing, water equipment, and oper system operation for community water system operators. Uh, I hope they were also trained on solar. Sindo? They also trained on solar. So I want to tell them, as we speak, we have like around four to five boreholes that are down. Five to four boreholes that are broken down. So I don't know. Are you ready to take up the job? There are people, our water, we call them uh, rapid response team. The team that have trained, the likes of Motai. See, they have trained you. Those guys, they get some good uh, remuneration or allowances whenever they are conducting or they are repairing a bohol. Some of them, they have their now business in Garissa. They have their, they bought their own vehicles. They are using their own vehicles. And Saad and Adilala, Wahara in Ogatin and Shan Bohol, Mr. El Ayahorta Nagajavan. Shante Bohola the Nagajavan. Ragi, I think, Wahid in Barai and Ukamidi Hai in Mutahi, Yo Bahati, Mutai had the Mujo in Rujra. Bahati may be Mushul Senhei. Elisha Swahno Gajan Lanai. Gary Lua Gajilne Uyala. Wehi or Hidma that Kalasina in a Malawainao. There had the Utihin Mantina had the Archeresitin. Is so bea Kale Gary as Korka Kora. Shall the Horka Gala? My Aloha lived in Paramanta. Elmi Manta lived in Paray. And Elmi Manta City or Andahno City Nimu Koronta Gajina, Missoha Gajina Moha. Elmi Manta lived in Barrow, Elmi or Beluba Hino, Hadavana di Shega, Gariga Latra, Anadra Nemoko Halasina, Anagasina El Colossal, Anaganakana Hadai Matin, Horbaka Gillisin. What month or Lee Jagal in Radini? Mamma Gustavo Mason Ahen Hadid and Horaho will I will I repeat? El Camarki or Andre no and Nemancan or Suhaga Genio, no Imada Marbahal Lava by the Ranina. Sifa, I think, and a mesh, I think, Macara Din, I will have a separatin. Pericamalin, Lava said, I got two racing, I think, Lava said, I think our Michigan is in summer. Marca Herford and Mantel in Bray, one mid and add Ufra Sanai, on add Ufra Sanai, or and for had win and the Gilney some high yellow. Wow, 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 wow. And the likes of uh, ILO, we really appreciate your effort on this matter. Uh, what we like to maybe to, f if we are at all at some point, appreciate this, uh, what we, whatever we did now, and we see it, it's very important, and we are, we need to upscale it at some point. My, my suggestion is, uh, Let's now uh, train the students. <laughs> we now have a curriculum. Malimu, uh, do you have a curriculum on this now? You have a curriculum, right? Yes, yes. So you can incorporate it into your, uh, uh, you can into your uh, learning, uh, what do you call it? Into your own curriculum, Sindio. Yes. So please, uh, I think for, for us to upscale, we need to identify, you identify for us very serious students. 
Uh, I know students are not on the same wavelength. Others will learn because of fun. Others will learn because it will attract some, some I can see they have industrial boots, which are very good boots. So others will learn maybe to, to get those, uh, <laughs> you see? So uh, we need very serious students you can identify for them, for sight, and for, for us also. People you know who are resilient, who are ready to go to the field, travel a whole day or travel at night, you know them, you know your students, please identify for us, and then say these are people I know, once they, are, once they get the skills, they are ready. They will be ready to on the market to, to provide the, the services to the community. CEC, Madam Ebla, uh, representatives from ILO, uh, together with SITE, the implementing agency, uh, directors and uh, other representatives from Guruasco, uh, my chief of staff, the center manager and the director, Directorate of Water Services. Good morning, or is it afternoon now? Good morning. Habari ya subui. Yangu ya kwanza ni kushukuru wafadhili wetu, ILO and SITE, kwa hii kazi nzuri ambayo wamefanya. Na pia kushukuru wanafunzi wetu, sababu vile lili analisema, kama nyinyi hamko hapa na sisi pia hatuna kazi, sindio? So kwanza tu appreciate ile kazi nzuri walifanya tufike makofi tafadhali tuwapigie makofi kwa kazi nzuri asanteni uh, sina mengi la kusema sababu unajua ukiwa na wadozi wako hapa haufai uongee mingi uh, Abdul Hakim ameongea mengi sababu waziri wake hayuko hapa sasa mimi sitaingia trap ya kuongea mingi alafu waziri akose ya kuongea ni kusema tu asante uh, na wengi tumekutana na nyinyi akina Lilian na Martin tumekuwa nao hata kama hauko wanajua niko kwa hii directorate leo natangaza niko na nafasi yangu haina vacancy najua kuna wengine mwazoe hapa mbele lakini kuanzia leo sitakubali excuse ya kusema siku anajua na mkaribie hii kazi nzuri so, ya pili ni kusema kwamba tuna request scale up site na ILO uh, we, need, we have a lot of needs 18 is not enough although it is a good starting point tunaomba tuendelee ku scale up tuwe na wanafunzi zaidi especially the girl child because gender issues ziko hapa and we don't want to still support the same so we make sure that in every program ambayo tunaanzisha tuhakikishe at least to push wasichana na kina mama wakue kwa hiyo program leo nilikuwa nadhani nitakuwa na wasichana pia ambao wamekuwa faidika sababu we need role models you know we need to break the barrier na ndi sisi kama department, sisi kama partners kwa kikisha kwamba the gender issues in our communities imekua, imepadilika. Na wakati tuna design program kama hizi, tuwe na focus. I know we cannot miss one or two or three who are really committed. Like Zaytun who we have had her in our program. And she's a lady we are very proud of. Na nilikuwa na muambia subuhi popote pale tunenda, huwa tunamtaja because we need her to be a role model alete ni wengine zaidi. Ya mwisho ni kimalizia ni kusema kwamba uh, this program pia ina fit in, it is a people-centered approach na ni ile ya raisi yetu ile anasama bottom up, sindio? Sababu tumeanza huko vijijini na wale wametoka huko. Yangu ni kusema kwamba eh, na amini wamepata skills ya kutosha hata kama saizi engineer aliposema kama mko tayari sijaona mkono juu lakini I expect wako tayari kufanya kazi. Uh, ni tufanye a lot of uh, mentorship, tuwafuatilie, tusiwe, tumeacha, sababu program meishia site na ILO na maybe our centers, monitoring, continuous monitoring, mentoring, because we need to do much more. Unajua kufunza mwanafunzi kwa darasa ni tafauti kwa ile challenge ambayo tukona kwa sites. So, it is good we follow up with this team 18, hata maybe kabla hatujaanza ingine, tuwafuatilie vile wataendelea kama tunaweza kuwapatia apprenticeship because now we are talking about dual learning. We have given them the skills but we can always place them somewhere. Hata kama ni department ya water, vile engineer amesema, wakati wanafanya hizo repairs, moja, mbili, tatu, 
wawe na hawa engineers. So kwa hayo mengi na machache mimi nitakuwa nimemalizia hayo na kusema ILO tuko na mahitaji mingi katika hii center. Tukitoka kwa hii ya water systems kuna programs mingi ambayo tunahitaji tufanyiwe support especially on the digital economy space and I know prospect 2.0 we have been waiting for it for a long time na tumekuwa na request mingi tumefanya na ochola tumefanya na your, your CEO and uh, we are really looking forward to welcoming various programs especially in the digital space freelancing na vitu mingi tracer studies because now we have a challenge even tracing our you know trainees and where they are and it is something that really informs you know our policy making informs our programs and we need to have evidence mara nyingi tuna train watoto ama trainees and this is adult learning we don't follow them so much so we need to be supported especially issues of policy you know bills that we need to support because uh, financing is an issue for our county and most of the other counties and unless we have uh, specific policies and bills that uh, enhances resource mobilization itakuwa mara nyingi tuna tegemea tu upande moja although i know the county is doing a lot so with those many remarks uh, ladies and gentlemen allow me to welcome our acting chief officer ahmed bashir to give out his remarks and welcome the cc asante ni sana na mungu awabariki our guest cc education and all protocol observed. Uh, I'm very happy being here today. Tunashukuru sana site kwa kuja na hiyo miradi ya ku train wanafunzi vile ya kusaidia katika mabols. Na hiyo tungesema hiyo wanafunzi 18 wa chache sana tunataka iongezwe ifikishwe all the sub counties in Garissa. Hata kama some places hawana ball wako na dam na hiyo dam inaweza kuwa generator inaweza kama kama masalani oluko all those areas and other sites kama most of the the dam wako na bohol na nafikiri size ya muku consider hawa i think next time ta consider hawa and then uh, i allow we have so many part uh, they have really helped us in coming up with so many projects like uh, the one of uh, welding while well, train uh, 60 students, I can remember, huh? 70, yeah, 70 students. Na hiyo aitoshi tunataka ayo lo tena yongeze waweke wanafunzi kutoka different uh, sub-county. Hiyo 70 ilikuwa also refugees walikuwa ndani. And then now everything now has changed. Uh, host and refugee were, were quite included in everything. And then the other thing, uh, this course tumefanya leo, na omba principal ya college. Kwa wale wanafunzi wote wanapitia hii college. Wale wanafanya welding, wale wanafanya masonari wapitia hiyo course. Naweza fanya hiyo nafikiri. Katika kila mtu anafanya hiyo hiyo course uh, welding, wiring, plumbing, equal common unit eh? because you have the syllabus now. Ipiti, kila mtu apitie. Yeah, just like zamani sasa ile watu walikuwa na wanamaliza form 4, walikuwa na pitisha ngo NYS kwa lazima. Sasa tunataka principal kila mtu anakuja kwa hii college apitie hiyo course. Itamsaidia kwa njia moja ama nyingine. Eh uh, ile nyingine ningesema yote imesemwa na wenzangu sasa yangu ni kukaribisha CC education Madam Ebla karibu. Makofi it gives me a very good uh, uh, opportunity today to stand in front of you for this graduation uh, ceremony and I'm very happy to be here. I'll not give a speech because I'm not very good at speeches. I'll just talk about uh, the, each, the issues that are touching us uh, as a county and as a department. Let me uh, first and foremost take this opportunity to thank the ILO team. ILO is our number one supporter as a department of education and vocational training. And they are extend, extending their support to other departments like water uh, and uh, maybe other departments like ag agriculture. Anything that is in their mandate, they are ready to do. And they are there anytime for us. Let me also 
take my sincere appreciation, give my sincere appreciation to SITE for doing a very good job. This is something that we needed. Let me say even before, because I come from, a, I have been working with the communities for many years, and I have even worked with the, the director of uh, water, our engineer who is seated here, even before I became the CEC for education, on issues of resilience building, because I used to work with NDMA, and uh, we used to go around the county, sub-counties, and what he is talking about is not something that is new to me. The breakages of Bohol, they are just too many, too much. Every other day, there are breakages. And uh, collectively, by then, the county government, with the support of partners like NDMA, uh, they used to go and repair those boreholes, the breakdowns. So it is like you are in an emergency situation every other day. So this particular work today is something that is hands-on. Nikazi ambao iko every other day. Sasa mimi nataka kutoa shukrani kwa wale wanafunzi ambao wamekuwa trained, ambao wamekaa hapa nyuma yangu na wamejitolea kufunzwa so that at least they can give the services to the community. This is going to help the communities to improve the service delivery. Any other time, any other day. As he has told you, he ni kazi ambao inahitajika kila siku. So, kama leo hiyo kazi iko, I think we need to go and work on that particular uh, work that is waiting for us. If not, iku any job training for the students who have been trained for this particular course. Uh, for us, as a department in charge of vocational training center, this is one of our centers. And uh, we have different courses that are going on here. We have the beauty course, we have the tailoring, we have the motor vehicle mechanic, we have the wiring, we have the plumbing, we have uh, um, and a beauty, many other, around six courses. So this is a plus for us because we are adding another course that is very important. So it's upscaling. For upscaling the courses that we had before is a plus for us. And you know what happens? And normally we come to for a training here, or the students come for a training, and they find the same, same courses going on. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you become a bit demoralized. So we are saying the issues of upscaling and there is a lot of skill mismatch. You come, you want to do this course, and the course is not available. So that is why we are saying we need to introduce more courses, and I've been advocating for that in every meeting we go, even in any meeting we have with ILO and other partners, so that at least we can upgrade the skills that are available, and we bring on board many other skills so that our students are hands-on on what is going on within Garissa County. Of course, there are courses that are needed here more than anything else. Like this course here that has just been offered or have been trained uh, is a very important course. We have courses like hospitality, whereby you are seeing there are so many hotels coming up in Garissa County. If the students can be trained on that, it is going to be very, very good. I was talking about courses like emergency responses. And one of the emergency responses we have is what Abd Hakim was talking about. Because right now, we have to go and handle. It's like we are going for an emergency because there is a breakdown. Wanyama wakohapo. They need water. And the borehole is already, uh, it has a breakdown. So it's like we are in an emergency situation. We are in a county again whereby we are having drought in Year in, we are in drought. Year out, we are in another drought. The other day, we had the floods that has affected our county, and we were running helter-skelter to do a lot of responses, providing food for the community, uh, providing food, uh, I mean, and food items for the community, like shelter. So you can imagine the amount of money that is used to make sure you save lives. So 
Some of the things, if we do proper mitigation measures, we do a lot of preparedness. And we think of long-term interventions, we will not be able to run up and down because we, have, we, are, we will put things in, in, proper, uh, in, in the right way. So at least we have to think outside the box and we have to come up with initiatives that are going to sp support our communities uh, in Garissa County. I just wanted to talk about as the county of Garissa, as the Department of Vocational Training Centers, we have those number of courses and we have different institutions. This is one of them. We have Mikono, we also have Bura, we also have the DAB, and uh, these such courses are being offered and many other courses, like actually in the DAB they do freelance, as Daoud has told you, freelancing and many other things that maybe uh, these other institutions do not have. And uh, we, as the County of Garissa and as department, we have supported this particular institution by giving equipments. These equipments we have supported, uh, the other day we have supported the beauty department with all that they need to make sure they undergo their courses very well. We have also supported and we have sewing machines, sewing machines for all the institutions that we have. And currently what is in the pipe, actually ICT materials also. So that is the support we gave in the pipeline right now. We have uh, procuring wiring uh, materials for the ones who are doing wiring and also carpentry, because I know there has been a very big challenge and the, the materials for carpentry and uh, is not there, but that is the support we want to give to those other uh, sectors. And you know, we are go as by the budget and what we have, we have to make sure that we handle maybe three courses, two courses per financial year or four, three to two courses so that we can spread the small resource we have to all the institutions that we are taking care of as as a county uh, government. And uh, I just wanted to talk about the ICT. ICT is uh, on the focus. We are, we are thinking of how are we going to improve our ICT department because the world is going digital. We need to have to set ICT hubs. And with the support of the national government through the area MP, we have said we are going to uh, set an ICT hub at Mikono Vocational Training Center because he wanted to have in all the wards. So, and we have chosen our institution, which is Mikono Vocational Training Center for 15 ward to set the ICT hub so that students come there, trained and they even do their e-businesses and they get money out of the courses that uh, they are undertaking. And you know, by the end of the day, the focus is oh, we need at least whatever you have been trained on, what are you getting out of it? You have the knowledge and you use those skills you have been trained on to get to earn something, to earn a living. So we are looking at the labor market demand. What is there in the market for us? What are the courses that are available? And then how are you going to make sure you get the right training and use the skills to support the communities that are waiting for you here. And these are our communities, and these communities are just waiting for us, no one else. Our chief guest, Madam Ebla, CC Education, uh, distinguished guest, and all protocol observed. Salamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Yangu itakuatuko payana vote of thanks, kwa sababu waziri ameongea. Na waziri ya kiongea, si vizuri kuongea bada ya ye. Eh, first and foremost, may I take this opportunity to thank to the Almighty for taking us this far and making this event successful. Eh, may I also thank to the organizers of this event, SITE and uh, ILO Prospect for facilitating and organizing this program. Indeed, ILO Prospect you have shown a commitment and dedication to this institution, uh, and we never take that one for granted. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati azana wa qina adab al-nar rabbana adalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lana kunanna min al-khasirin. Assalamu alaikum.